This is Oral Roberts University. It's a nice university. 4,000 students go here. Yes, it's a nice place to go to school, and it's my job to keep it that way. I'm a campus detective. My name's Monday. My partner's name is Tuesday. He always follows me. It was Wednesday, April 26, 2.26 p.m. 2.28? Like I said, it was 2.28 p.m. We were returning from a routine investigation around the Global Learning Center area. A 402. <laughs> Melissa's mischief. Some students had blown a hole in one of the virtual reality room walls. When will professors learn to keep Galaxy Note 7s out of their students' reach? 2.34. Headquarters calls. Joe Monday. Over. Joe, it's the golf cart bandit again. He drove right beneath the Hamill Center. Report in. On our way. It was Wednesday, April 26, 2.42 p.m. We returned to headquarters. Back at the old desk, waiting for a call from the chief. Half of detective's life is spent in waiting. 253, the chief calls. Joe, come over here please. I need your help immediately. Right. My interview with the chief was brief and to the point. He wanted me to find out who the golf cart bandit was and placed him under arrest. I consented. Three oh seven. We proceeded to the scene of the crime. Three twenty one. We checked in at the scene of the crime. I know this rock. This is one of the pieces stolen in the Elsing Museum heist. 4.15 p.m. We headed back to headquarters with the clue. This is him, George McCree. Let's get him. The case was beginning to heat up. Our next step was the criminal detecto program. The Elsing Museum heist had taken place two days earlier. Agent Thursday was on the case, but had yet to bring any suspect in. The most suspect suspect was a criminal so clever he had never been suspected of anything. McCree's last known location was the Howard Auditorium. It seemed like the ideal place to continue our investigation. We didn't have much time. 5.07, he left Howard Auditorium. Five oh eight, we arrived at Howard Auditorium. Our deductions later proved that we had missed him by one minute. Hey! At 5.09, we set out in hot pursuit. Like all criminals, he had an elaborate alibi prepared. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. <laughs> yes, <God. laughs> Five 
This is Oral Roberts University, a nice university. 3,999 students go here. It's a nice place to go to school, and it's my job to keep it that way.